Shill to his outside, your reigning national Wazota champion and your reigning Wazota Challenge Series champion, the Derek Sandblasting AIE Bell Centers Communication number 7W, it's Ricky Weiss. Inside row two in his 33rd or 32nd year of late model racing. Sponsored by LG Trucking, North Star Manufacturing, and Silmac. This is Mike Balkin in a black diamond race car. To his outside in the Todd's Electric 71 out of Hallock, this is a Bloomquist chassis, the driver step and snare. Inside on row three, from Grand Forks, North Dakota, your reigning NLRA 2014 champion. It is the SNS Transport. Fargo Grand Forks Freightliner 12S. It's an MB. This is Brad Sang. To his outside, now this is one of the only cars in the area like this. Driving the 71D, the car driver is Dustin Strand, but this is a Longhorn that Bobby Labonte tried to get working for years and couldn't. Billy Moyer could, and Dustin Strand bought one for Moyer, and it is working well. Inside on row number four, the Pepsi-Cola 9A, this is Steve Anderson out of Grand Forks, and to his outside, another nine, the Winnipeg Dodge number nine of Walt Morris. Inside row five, the 88 is Paul Beard, the Beard Landscaping Case High Track 88 car. To his outside, the fastest delivery guy in Fargo sponsors the 16S of Jeff Hoppala. Inside row six, that's the 11th starting spot. The 5E is sponsored by Red River Messenger Courier and General Signs. The driver, Shane Edgington. Outside of Shane, starting in the 12th spot. In the Dabs Repair number eight, it's Kevin Sexton in the Fagers. Inside row seven, it's the Balkan and Sons Plumbing and Heating number 14 of George Balkan, a master's built. Another master's built on the outside, the OMG Candy, McPhillips Toyota, Lucas Oil number two of Bill Mooney. Inside row eight, it's the number 30, a rocket out of Fargo. This is Adam Fisher. Scheduled to start 16th, but experiencing motor problems and is a scratch. The driver is Mike Martin in the 55, and also a scratch after a crash in his heat race. The number 71, the Curtis Carpets entry. This is Rick Fawcett, and he too is a scratch after that crash. The late model class is on the racetrack behind the Dodge Pace truck. The Starbuck Credit Union sponsor the late models. We're getting set to go racing. Getting ready now for your Northern Late Model Racing Association feature. High horsepower late models on the racetrack. The fastest full-bodied stock cars on dirt. Getting ready to do battle for 25 times around the big four-tenths of a mile oval. This one is going to be a barn burner. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have Canada Day fireworks coming up following tonight's program right here in the infield section of the racetrack as the late models get set and ready to do battle here. Your Northern Late Model Racing Association special brought to you by your Prairie Dodge dealers.
racing late model style. Ricky Weiss out to the early lead in the Derek Sevy truck part 7W. Second is Cole Schill. Mike Falcon in the third spot. We've got a battle down the front chute. High horsepower late model racing. In the fourth spot, the Sportsman's Lodge 71S of Stefan Snare. Dustin Strand in the 71D is fifth. Say in the sixth spot in the Nestle Bergstrom Electric 12S. But Ricky Weiss, the rocket, almost a half straightaway lead on the rest of the field. Mike Balkin now pulling up on the backside of Cole Schill. That is a Masters built for Cole Schill in 2015. Balkin in a black diamond chassis with a Miller Racing engine on board. Yellow flag is out on the speedway. Yellow flag is out for the NLRA special. 25 laps was the original distance. And now we have a yellow flag on the speedway. Looks like the number 30 of Fisher off the racetrack at the top of turn number three. So our safety crew's heading over there. However, Fisher is rolling in car number 30. Great field of late models with us here tonight, brought to you by your Prairie Dodge retailers. 30 car, of course, Adam Fisher out of Fargo, North Dakota. About 210 miles or so south of here. 23 laps showing on the AIE Bell Communications Tower. We have two down, 23 to go as we get the late models lined up once again. All part of your NLRA special, Starbuck Credit Union late models on the racetrack, our final feature of the night. And then don't forget, we will have fireworks following this race. We hope you enjoyed the race action so far here tonight at Red River Co-op Speedway. Don't forget, we're back here next Thursday for more Thursday Night Thunder action and then Friday, we are here with the Monster X Tour. You can get your tickets for the Monster Truck at the Shirt Shack or online at redrivercoopspeedway.ca. All right, looks like Kevin Sexton in trouble in the Dabs repair number eight, but now starts to roll away in turn number three. Not sure if he's gonna let the field join him or what the situation is over there. But I'll tell you, Ricky Weiss in the Derek Sevy truck parts, AIE 7W, certainly the class of the field. He took off on lap number one. Now the field will have the opportunity to close up on this restart, but will they have any chance at defeating Ricky Weiss in that 7W? That is a Bloomquist chassis with Pro Power Racing Engine on board. All right, so 23 showing on the AIE communications board. This race, of course, brought to you by your Prairie Dodge retailers. Delaware style restart. The 44 of Cole Schill out of West Fargo elects to start on the outside of row number two, Mike Balkin on the inside. And here we go. Balkin with a good start. Once again, Ricky Weiss rockets to the top of the racetrack. Balkin is second. Schill leaves the door open just a bit. And Dustin Strand walks right through it into third spot. Ricky Weiss continues to lead and is extending that lead on the 10 car of Mike Balkin. Dustin Strand now all over Mike Balkin. Strand in the Q and Z. Realtruck.com 71B out of Grand Forks, North Dakota. Fourth spot, the 44 of Schill. Fifth is Stefan Snare. Sixth is Bill Mooney in a 2015 Masters built chassis. Mooney now on the inside of Snare. Brad Singh right there as well in the Forks Freightliner 12S car. 
20 laps on the board, five down, 20 to go. Ricky Weiss continues to pull away. Balkan right to the top of turn number one and two and makes that 10 car stick up there with Strand in hot pursuit in third spot. Brad Sane getting on the inside of the McPhillips Toyota 2M of Bill Mooney. That's a great race, likely the best race in the place right now between Bill Mooney and the 12S of Brad Sang out of Grand Forks, North Dakota. Sang using his MB custom chassis on the bottom of the racetrack. Bill Mooney elects to stay high. That's where that Masters built has worked very well for him here in 2015. What a race. Snare, Mooney, and Sang. And now Sang on the inside of Mooney once again. But Mooney with traction on the cushion and blows by the 12. But here comes the 12 on the inside of turn three. That is a fantastic race. Brad Sang wanting to pass Mooney and the 71 of Stefan Snare. Those guys are getting at it into turn number three. Ricky Weiss now working lap traffic as he looks to go around the nine of Walt Morris, sponsored by Winnipeg Dodge. Ricky Weiss just doing a great job in lap traffic so far. Mike Balkan continues to run in the second spot as Mike Balkan comes up to lap his cousin, George Balkan, in the 14. But now, Dustin Strand in the 71D passing Balkan for the second spot, and he drives away out of turn two. Wow, what a job by Dustin Strand, a masterful piece of driving. Ricky Weiss on a Sunday drive here at Red River Co-op Speedway. He's got nine laps remaining here in this 25 lap feature for the NRA. Ricky Weiss with about a straightaway on second place, Dustin Strand. Strand with about a quarter straightaway lead on Balkan, who is third. The Emory Demolition North Star, 10 of Mike Balkan, currently third. Just five laps remaining now for Ricky Weiss. And now down to four. for your race leader, the Derek Sevy Truck Parts, Derek Sandblasting AIE7W of Ricky Weiss. He is absolutely flying.
Dustin Strand now pulling up on the 7W. This could be a race after all with two laps remaining. White flag is out for your race leader. Dustin Strand getting by the lapper, Kevin Sexton, but may be running out of time if he hopes to take a stab at Ricky Weiss. Weiss out of turn four, checkered flag in the air. Your winner, Ricky Weiss, followed by Dustin Strand in the 71D out of Grand Forks. Third to Mike Balkan out of Winnipeg. Brad Sank unofficially in the fourth spot in the Nestle Bergstrom Electric 12 S car. Looking good, Brad Sang towards the end of the race, but certainly no doubt about it, Ricky Weiss in the Bloomquist chassis with Pro Power Racing Engine on board is your winner here tonight. Ricky Wise takes a sweetest lap in motorsports in the AIE Communications Bell Telephone stores with four locations around the city. They are at Pemmon and Stafford, the Norwood Center, Winnipeg Square, and Grant Park. And he's also sponsored by Derek Sandblasting. He wins his heat and his feature. And they told me on the weekend they're looking to get 30 sweeps. Wazota keeps track of uh, your top 30 races. And I'm not so sure how many he's got so far, but he's got it as more or any uh, as many or more than most everybody. So uh, they could possibly do it the way they've been running this year. Uh, Ricky Weiss wins this one in fine style. The AIE Communications. There's your winner. How about a big hand for him, everybody? Ricky the Rocket Weiss. Well, Ricky Weiss with another big win. You won three previous to this, and now another one here at Red River Co-op Speedway. Man, that Bloomquist chassis, well, was a rocket. Yeah, the car was great. Um, something was happening with my motor near the end there. It was popping and farting, and I'm sure we'll get it figured out. It's a little warm right now, but uh, I don't know. It's a new motor, so we'll get the bugs to work out of it yet. All right, where are you traveling this weekend? Just Fergus Falls, and then uh, they got Mod Nationals and Alex, so uh, we're going to take Saturday off, maybe like go to the lake or something. That'll be unusual. Yeah, haven't been there in a while. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Winner of the Starbucks Credit Union Late Models on NLRA night. That's Ricky Weiss in the 7W with another great performance. Back up to you, Pat.